This is what I call uh, the drama object. They all have one central light. You can put them anywhere in a window and they'll uh, find one central light no matter where they are. These are the jigglies. They jiggle. They're just little buttons. Uh, they do XY reporting if you need them to. These orbs display how far you are between consecutive integers uh, for things like pitch. This is a menu of sliders. It's uh, for keeping related parameters in the same place in a GUI. <coughs> Here it just uh, collapses to one button. There's no slider. Uh, this is just some slider. This is f of x. It's a graphing calculator. It takes in JavaScript math. This is a polar coordinate. This is a ruler slider, which is virtually useless, but it's very pretty. This is a system of collapsible sequencer tracks, so you can uh, sequence on the fly every parameter that might be in your synth or what have you. Automating parameters is something that's usually tedious. Here it goes pretty quick. My cute animated checkbox. Here are some squashable dials. Uh, save some space. Here's just uh, some tick marks where uh, the user can enter in some and then click back and the slider snaps back to it. Here's something for scrubbing audio. It was inspired by the uh, texture editor in Bryce. Those little pull-out sliders. <clears throat> this is just uh, a little button where you can add text. Max MSP had no options for shadows. This is just a, a pretty slider with gradients. And last but not least, this is what I call a caned slider. It's a, a multi-slider in two dimensions. Uh, you can see on the bottom left is the list coming out of it, the list of numbers. Um, and you can edit either rows or columns of uh, values. There's also an option to put a big transparent slider up there so you can see what you're doing if you have lots of little values. And those are some of the widgets for Maximus P that I wrote Bye. this summer. Thanks!